All right, team. I'm glad you guys came back. No injuries. Just a couple bullet holes in the uh, in the vehicles. But I'm glad you guys are back. And I'm glad you're back because we got another mission. I'm going to need you, platoon sergeants, to get your platoons, get them fed, give them two to three hours of rest. All right, because tonight at 0130, you guys will roll out. All right, let me show you exactly what the objectives are, where you're going, and the timelines. Okay, excellent. So, last mission, first and second platoon, they came up around the sides, east and west. Third and fourth platoon came up from the south. We were able to take these two locations, okay? Now, what we're going to do, the enemy was driven up north, but they moved into this, this region area right around here, all right? Right around there is where they moved. Now, we're going to reconsolidate over here, all right? And we are going to drive them further north, okay? The objective is to have all of this square footage here under U.S. control, okay? Now, their numbers are smaller than last time, but reported that they've called for backup, that they've called for um, armored personnel carriers, that they've called for some artillery rounds to be shot in that area in case they become overrun, which is, of course, likely because we're the U.S., all right? Superior firepower reigns. So we're gonna have the same. We're gonna have a similar game plan. All right. Except this time we're going by vehicle. We're not gonna. We're not gonna hump it. We're not gonna take sixty pounds of gear in our backs. All right. We're gonna grab. I believe it's four uh, strikers. All right. We're gonna mount up in our in our HQ and we're gonna drive up north. And once we get here, I'll give you guys the grid coordinates. Once we get here, it should take about I don't know forty minutes. Right. So we're gonna execute at 0130. That's when the commander is planned to give the go ahead. So give plus 40 minutes. We're going to arrive at Charlie 1. From here, 1st and 2nd platoon are going to break off going west. Right? They're going to break off and they're going to come right over here. Coordinates will be provided. This will be Charlie 2. 3rd and 4th platoon are going to break off to the right and they're going to meet up over here. Coordinates will be provided. And that'll be Charlie 3. Once everyone's in position, we are going to give the call sign, right? We're going to give the challenge word to the commander. He's going to confirm. He's going to get the go ahead from the general, and then we're going to execute. All right. Now for you platoon leaders and platoon sergeants, that call sign is Irene. When you get to position, you guys communicate with each other. You report back first platoon. You're going to have the responsibility of calling back to hire and report Irene. That is going to be the go. Now, once the commander responds with Blackhawk, that's when we execute the mission. That could be an hour, two hours, several hours. So bring some snacks. Of course, bring water. All right. So we're going to be in these positions. Once the commander gives the go ahead, once he says Blackhawk, you guys will execute. You'll be coming up and communicate with each other, guys. Okay. We don't need any fraternization. Uh, fraternization, uh, fratricide. Okay, basically, we don't need blue on blue uh, accidents. All right, ensure that you guys are looking out for each other, communicate throughout the battle. And I am going to ride with first platoon this time because my gun hasn't seen some action in a while. Now, if you don't have any other questions, feed your platoons, get them showered if, if they have time, but give them a maximum of three hours. Okay, they have a three hour recall. Once the commander gives the word, we are we are moving out. Okay. Are there any questions? Outstanding. Good luck, guys. I'll see you out there.